Hi guys, this is Maha, your English language teacher and IELTS trainer, and welcome to another episode of the IELTS Writing Task 1 on youtube.com slash English Canada. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you to please follow me on facebook.com slash English Canada and do hit the notifications button on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. So let's begin. All right, so this is the IELTS writing task one, and today we're going to learn how to write the letter of request. Let's begin. Here is the task for you. As you can see from the picture, it has to do with your rent and your rate. Let me read out the task for you. You are experiencing financial problems and want to ask your landlord if you can pay your rent late. Write a letter to your landlord. In your letter, explain why you are writing to him, why you cannot pay the rent on time, and when will you pay the rent? So there are three things that the letter is asking you to do. Um, number one, why are you writing this letter? So you have to give a reason for writing. Then you have to um, tell the landlord. So the first one and the second one, you have to tell the landlord that you are not able to pay the rent on time. So inform them. And the third one is when will you pay the rent? So once you've informed the landlord, you cannot pay them the rent. You also have to give them a timeline and say, you know, I can pay you in 10 days, 15 days, or maybe next month. All right. Uh, please make sure that the question, um, that you read the question carefully, because the first line says you are experiencing financial problems. So please make sure that in your letter, you mention that you have a financial problem or problems. Okay, so what is the task requirement? Let's get into the details. It is a letter of request and you need to write this letter because you need an extension on the rent payment. Your um, task one is always 150 words and I always suggest you to keep it 185. The maximum you can stretch it to 195 words. You have to explain the situation, what happened and why are you facing um, the financial problem. So you have to explain the situation and let the landlord know why you are not able to pay the rent on time, give them the reasons and also let them know when you would pay again. Okay, so we always start with the greeting, with the introduction and the reason for writing. Use a person's name over here because you're writing to a landlord and this is a semi-informal letter. The reason why it's semi-informal is because the landlord is not your boss, he's not your colleague, he is not your professional acquaintance and he is not your friend, so he's somewhere in between. You're living in his house, you're paying the rent, so you have some sort of a relationship with the landlord, which could be, you know, when you give him a call, you say, hey, how's it going? Um, what did you guys do over the weekend? So you can have a casual chit chat with this person, hence the reason why this is going to be a semi-formal letter. You can also start um, the letter by appreciating the landlord. And these are usually called the buffer statements. Um, either you can appreciate the landlord or you can kind of um, very sweetly remind them that you have been a good tenant. So you create a buffer statement at the beginning of the letter before giving him the bad news. And then you have to write briefly the reason for writing. So we'll do a sample now. Let's look at a sample now. So the greeting intro and reason for writing. Dear Michael, I have been your tenant for over two years and you know I'm punctual with my payments. I'm writing this letter to request you for an extension of 10 days for this month's rental payments. Rental payments. Now, we come to the second paragraph where you're explaining why the rent will be delayed. And as per the question, um, the task one, it said that you had a medical condition and you missed some days of work. So the question didn't say that you missed some days of work, but we're creating that situation. So you had a medical condition and missed some days of work due to which your salary got delayed and um, you also know that the insurance is covering the days off. 
So here is the next paragraph explaining why the rent will be delayed. Last month, I was forced to take some time off due to a medical condition that could not be ignored. So the minute you write a medical condition that could not be ignored, it, it is a serious medical condition. Due to the absence from work, I could not send in my invoice, which in turn resulted in the delay of my salary. I have rejoined the office and have submitted the invoice, along with the reimbursement form to the insurance. I should be receiving the funds within a week. I have been told to expect the transfer by the 8th of this month. All right, so look at the words that I have used over here because they might help you, um, you know, improve your vocabulary. So instead of saying, I should be receiving the money within a week, I've used the word funds. I could have said I should be receiving the salary. The reason why I didn't use the word salary is because I've used it once before. And the more synonyms you use, the better it is for you. When will the rent be paid? You will be paid in one week. So this is a situation you have created and you have to let, you have to let the landlord know that you will be receiving the money within a week and that the insurance um, will also be reimbursed and the payment to the landlord will be done on the 10th of the month. So you're giving him a set date. Now let's write the sentences related to that. As soon as the money is deposited in my account, I will transfer the rent to you. Short and sweet. After this, you close the letter. Thank the landlord for being understanding. Did I get that spelling wrong? Thank the landlord for being understanding, not understating, excuse me. And this is how we would write the closing sentence. Thank you so much for your cooperation in advance and for your understanding. Best regards, Maha. All right, so now let's read the final letter and see how it sounds. I think um, this is about 155, 60 words, which is pretty good. Dear Michael, I have been your tenant for over two years and you know I am punctual with my payments. However, I'm writing this letter to request you for an extension of 10 days for this month's rental payment. Last month, I was forced to take some time off due to a medical condition that could not be ignored. Due to the absence from work, I could not send in my invoice, which in turn resulted in the delay of my salary. I have rejoined the office and have submitted the invoice along with the reimbursement form to the insurance. I should be receiving the funds within a week. I have been told to expect the transfer by the 8th of this month. As soon as the money is deposited in my account, I will transfer the rent to you. Thank you so much for your cooperation in advance and your understanding. Best regards, Maha. I got the understanding. Um, spelling correct and I haven't written understating over here so this is the complete letter for you now um in this particular letter there are words that were reused for instance the, the word invoice has been used twice and I also wrote in due to a medical condition due to um, the absence of work and what we could do is we can actually change that sentence and say um, the absence of work resulted in all right so instead of using the word due to twice um, let's try to rephrase that sentence so it doesn't look bad so I hope you enjoyed um, this IELTS writing task one and I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page English or Canada do follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn and if you have any questions you can always reach um, me on my social media platforms thank you so much for watching see you soon